Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and more. So in today's video, I wanted to do a teddy bear theme. So I've been seeing all over Instagram, people have been doing teddy bear themes for their baby showers. So I wanted to do a balloon garland and then I'm gonna add some finishing touches. And then I'm also gonna do a balloon topiary since I haven't done one of those in a long time and I'm gonna hang a teddy bear from it. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so for this balloon garland, I'm using three different colors. And don't worry, I'll put all the links for the balloons in the description of this video. All right, so I'm gonna be using this pastel blue color. And then I have fashion white balloons here, which looks like more of a tan. And then I have chocolate color balloons, okay? I'm going to start blowing up these balloons and putting my balloon garland together. Most of it will be in time lapse, but after I'm done blowing up the balloons and when I start putting my balloon garland together, I'm going to give you guys a few tips because last time in my photo shoot, if you haven't seen the video, I'll put a card up top and a link in the description. But the last time at that photo shoot, my balloon garland came together really easily, okay? And it didn't take me that long. Even though it was a big display, it didn't take me that long to do. So I want to show you guys a couple of tips on how I did it last time to speed up the process for you. I have a bunch of balloons around me. I just wanted to stop at this point and give you guys a couple of tips on how I'm blowing up my balloons to form my balloon garlands these days, okay? So as you know, I have said, in order to make a beautiful balloon garland, the key is to have balloons in different sizes, okay? So when I'm shopping for balloons, I always make sure I get at least three different sizes. But if you want that professional look, that designer look on your balloon garlands, then you should incorporate bigger balloons, all right? So now I make sure that I get 18-inch balloons and 24-inch balloons. It really just depends on where you're ordering from because if it's Qualitex, they have 16-inch balloons and 36-inch balloons. So you really just want to make sure that you're getting bigger balloons, um, bigger than the 12-inch size. So now I form quads, okay? So quads is just a set of four balloons. Let me take this one apart for you guys, all right? So this is a quad of 12 inch balloons. So I just blow them up and round them. They don't all have to be the same size, but I tie two of them together and then twist them together to make a quad, okay? If you have any questions on how I do that, I'll put a link to one of my previous balloon garland tutorials in the description and I'll put a card up top. All right, so now when I'm blowing up my balloons, what I try to do is use different sizes when I'm forming the balloon quad, okay? So like this one right here is four 11 inch balloons. But this one has three 11 inch balloons and then it has one 24 inch balloon, okay? And I just blow them up in different sizes. So you want to form quads and then within those quads, use different sizes of balloons. Now, sometimes like with this one, with these brown balloons, they only had 11 inch, 9 inch and 5 inch. They didn't have any bigger balloons. So all of my quads are with the 11 inch balloons. OK, so when I blow up my initial set of balloons, I only use 11 inch. 18 inch and 24 inch and after I blow up my balloons in the different sizes then I string them together with my 260Q balloons to form the balloon garland okay
So I just added my balloon garland and attached it to my backdrop curtains. If you have any questions on how I do that, I will link a video where I showed how I attach my balloon garland to these curtains, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, and I know my hair may be sticking up because of the static of these balloons, so please excuse my hair. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna be doing is adding my finishing touches to this balloon garland. So what I do now is I use my nine inch and my five inch balloons to add my final touches. So if there's any gaps, if I need to cover any spaces, if it's a big space, I use a nine inch balloon and if it's a smaller space then I use my five inch balloons, all right? So here's where I'm at so far. As you can see, I finished my balloon garland. So I love how this looks so far. I also added this teddy bear, which is so cute. I got it off of Amazon. And then I added my old baby sign. So if you have any questions on how I add my old baby sign, I just use fishing line. And I just tie the fishing line around the sign. And then I tie the ends in a knot. And then I just use a safety pin to attach the fishing line to the backdrop, okay? If you guys want, in a future video, I can show you exactly how I do it. It's just hard to see the fishing line on camera. As you can see, I'm losing sunlight. So tomorrow, I will do the balloon topiary and try to hang a teddy bear from it, all right? All right, so let's get started on this balloon topiary, okay? So I'm gonna do this in a different way than I normally do my balloon topiaries. So usually I use a foil curtain to cover my balloon stand, all right? But this time I'm actually gonna use curtains because this is a really soft look. So I feel like the curtains will go better than the foil curtain. If you guys have any questions on how I create my balloon topiaries, I will put a link in the description so you guys can get the tutorial for that, all right? I just wanna show you guys how I'm going to add the curtain to my balloon stand. So I have a zip tie here, and I'm just gonna put the zip tie through the top of the curtain, okay? So through this pocket. Okay, and I actually have two, so I'm gonna add the other one. Okay, so you see? And then here's the top of my balloon column stand, all right? And then I'm just gonna tie the zip tie, okay, around the top of it. So just tighten it. and then just cut this, all right? And now I'm gonna zoom out so you can see everything that I do. my balloon topiary as you can see I use brown balloons you could use the blue or the tan balloons if you wanted to I just chose to use brown all right now before I add my balloon topiary to the top of my stand I just want to remind you put some balloons over the top of the stand okay because remember we use a cable tie or a zip tie and then cut it so you don't want to put the balloons directly on top of it because it may 
pop it. Just put a few balloons, so a few of the 11 inch balloons on top of this before you add your balloon topiary. All right, so last but not least, I have this cute little teddy bear that I wanted to add to this balloon topiary, okay? Because I wanted more than just one teddy bear in this scene. And I was thinking about what is the easiest way for me to attach this teddy bear to the balloon topiary. And you know what I figured out? You could just put it right on the top, okay? Let me bring the camera just a little bit closer. So all I'm gonna do is just stick the legs of this teddy bear down into the top of the balloon topiary, okay? You see? And it sticks up, that is so cute. And if you wanna make sure that it's extra secure, you can put some tape under it, okay? So get some strong tape and then take the bottom of the teddy bear to the top of the balloon topiary. But I love this just how it is. love how this came out. This is the first time that I did this teddy bear theme and I'm in love with it. If you want, you could use a bigger teddy bear. You could also use, I've seen people online where they add little teddy bears into the balloon garland. So feel free to be as creative as you want. I just wanted to give you guys an idea for a teddy bear baby shower. All right. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.